Hello and welcome to another how to engineering video. Today we're going to replace a Toyota Matrix starter motor. When I filmed this I thought the microphone was on on the camera so I'm trying to show you what the sound of the click 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 sound of the car starting and of course I wasn't able to capture that sound. So here's me turning the key and you don't hear anything because the microphone's off. Oops. So here I insert the key, turn the key, and you hear that clicking sound. You see the, the clock does work and it flashes but all the other lights stay on. The car does have power. I checked the voltage at the battery. Everything was good. But the car just was not starting. All I can hear in the car is click, 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 click from the relay. So now that we know the car won't start, I guess we better work on popping the hood and checking what's wrong under the hood. So I guess first thing to check would be the battery. And the battery power 12.46 it's full power. Here is the location of the starter motor. Uh, what I'm pointing at here is actually the solenoid and that's what engages the starter motor gear into the transmission. I start out by unplugging this wire here and I want to make sure that the starter motor is receiving a 12 volt signal when the key switch is turned to the start position. You can also test the starter motor by applying 12 volts to that connection on the starter motor. Here I'm checking if there's any power that comes out of the wire when the ignition is turned. I connect one lead of the meter to the battery to the negative post. The other lead of the meter goes to the wire, the signal wire coming from the car that goes to the starter. And my meter is showing that yes it does have a connection to 12 volts power when the key is turned. So that's not the problem. To safely change the starter motor I disconnect the negative ground battery cable. So there is no power in the vehicle at all right now. Now I unbolt the big thick wire that connects straight into the starter. This is 12 volts power run all the time. The other wire is what triggers the starter to turn on and off but this is where the high current is. This is the reason why I had to disconnect the battery. When you turn the wrench here you can touch any piece of metal and short out the car. Very important to have the battery disconnected before even starting this. This starter motor is in a pretty difficult to reach place uh, with the radiator fans and everything there. So I'm going to have to remove that and get it out of the way. Luckily it's only a few bolts and some wires to disconnect. And I get it right out of the way. And that leaves plenty of room now to work and get the starter motor out. Now that we have access, let's get that sucker out of there. To save a little money we decided to purchase this rebuilt unit which has been remanufactured. Looks like with much cheaper components. It's not quite as good as the original but well I'm sure it's much cheaper than going to the dealership. So the first step you do is you unbox it and you inspect it. And you make sure that everything's included. Everything's in good shape. Nothing is broken. Then you compare it with the old unit you've removed from the car. Make sure the bolt patterns are the same, the gears the same, everything's in the proper positions. 
If everything looks okay, then it's probably the right part, and we're good to try it on the car. Okay, maybe I went a little overboard inspecting them, but you get the point. I do a quick cut of the zip tie and we're good to install it. So I install it in the reverse order. You start with bolting it in. Then you connect the wires. Pretty simple. Before I mount the radiator fan, I'd like to test it. And great! It works! Okay, so now we're good to put the radiator fan grill and all that other stuff in. I wish you can hear it purring right now, but yep, the engine's running. So now I work on putting back the fan grill and bolting it in, reconnecting the fan wire, and that's pretty much it. Please consider helping our channel by logging on to patreon.com forward slash howtoengineering. Thank you for watching and please be sure to subscribe, comment, like, watch our playlist, and whatever you'd like. Thank you for watching.